Welcome to another tutorial. Today we are going to create a scroll UI and I'm gonna provide you with some cool gifts since we've reached 1000 subscribers on this channel. Make sure to watch the video and have fun. So I will provide you with this full folder right here. You can get it on my Patreon just for free. Link is in the description. Everyone can get it for free, so no worries. It will come like this. This is the video on how to import stuff. Just make sure to watch it and you will have no questions. So you'll get a folder like this. And first, please go into the MF Glint function just switch something up make sure to like drag it into here apply and save after that we're going to open up the lint effect see here we have an unspecific function just make sure to click on here and search for mf glint or maybe just only glint and there you have the function just connect it with this value right here you will get this value when you press down one on your keyboard and then i'm just gonna ch change the default value to one and now compile and save this same thing with the m font right here Make sure to put in the function right here, or you could just add in the function from your content drawer. You just add it here, connect them both, and there you go. Apply and save. And now we're gonna focus on the widget blueprint. Go to user interface, widget blueprint, select the second one, the modular dialog. I'm gonna name it WB scroll test, since I'm gonna delete this one for, from this file, and you will have only this one, the ready one. Now, we are here in the widget blueprint, Make sure to drag in the canvas panel. I'm gonna adjust the size just so I can work better with it. Compile, add in the image, change the anchors up to middle. I'm gonna change the alignment also to 0.5. So it's right in the middle, as you can see here. Now this is how it should be. Now I'm gonna turn on size content since I provide you with this texture right here, which you can use as a background. Open it up. Here are the settings for the texture. Since it's UI, I use UI and user interface right here. Very important setting, otherwise you will have an error message since it's a too big texture size. Now go into the blueprint and here we are. Compile. First we're gonna do the button. So you can select any button you like. I'm gonna select the UFN button loud. Change the anchors up to the middle. See, now it's right in the middle. Now you can simply just drag this one down. So to align it right, I'm gonna change up the size. So it's gonna be like this. So 55 and 240. Now we are also going to rename the text to, for example, play. Change up the value here. So like 116 and there you have your button. Now click nowhere, like in an empty space. Then open up your view bindings and add widgets. Now, it's important that you do this, otherwise it will not work. So select this one, go into the creative modular dialog and select response. Here, here it is. Now change this arrow into one way to view model. Press here to the functions. And I want to use the get response button one in a dialog device. So I'm just gonna select this one. You can even have more buttons that have different functions. So just letting you know. Now click here and here you will see your widget blueprint. But one thing is missing, the button that we just added. You see here is the image and I'm just gonna press out. I'm gonna rename the image so you see if it works. Backgrounds and this button here, I'm gonna rename lead button. Now I'm going to compile this, you will get an arrow. You can just close this down. But if you open up the view bindings again and open up your widget blueprint, you see the, the image changed as a background. And we now have the button in here. Just press the arrow right here. And now we are looking for click event. Select this one and now compile. And you see we have no errors and it will work perfectly fine. So now I'm going to add in the scroll box, which you can find on the left list right here drag it in just the anchors and now i'm gonna adjust the size which is pretty fun i like it to be like this big probably it's like 50 150 and 732 make sure to compile and save and we are pretty much done here now you can customize whatever you want 
but I'm gonna show you how to do this. So I'm just gonna simply add an, a text block into the scroll box you see it will be here. Pretty important. I'm gonna take the text block now. I'm gonna align everything in the center and also the text in the center right here where you can find the justification. I'm gonna select middle, I'm gonna show you what this does. So for example, if we type in multiple texts, when we change the justification to the left side, it will always be on the left of this green box right here, which you can see. But I like mine in the middle, I'm gonna keep this, keep it like this. I'm gonna name it scroll UI, since this is what the video is about. And now you can play around however you like. I like to have a little bit of space from the top, so I'm gonna adjust the padding here at the top, for example 15, and you see, we change the distance right here. So now we gotta add in some more stuff. We're gonna add in an outline size, like one. I'm also going to add in a shadow. Just click in here, when we close this down, just click where the shadow color is and adjust the alpha. And you see, your shadow will appear. You can change up the colors to your needs. Let's just make it a bit bigger, for example, two. And you see, there it is. I'm gonna leave it black, since I don't really mind. And I'm gonna change up the size of my title, just like this. This looks good. And a co really cool thing is, with the glint effect, since we have a material, which is for the font right here, you can just simply create a material instance, which we can customize for every text separately. Just click the text and add in the material instance into the font material. And you see nothing will happen really. Just open up the material instance and drag it for example here. Let's put it to zero for testing reasons. And now I'm also going to change in the colors, for example, like that. See, you can just play with the colors however you like. I'm gonna leave it at blue. I'm gonna change the line width since it's too wide for my opinion. And also I'm gonna change the speed to make it a bit slower. And now we have a good looking glint effect that we have right here. I'm gonna also change the glint delay to like 4 seconds. Save. And now the glint effect will appear every 4 seconds just for this text right here. You can just duplicate this text block and now delete the glint function. Also change up the size. And here you can add in your text and whatever you like to write. Now we added some text into our widget blueprint, as you can see. What you could also add is a material that we created a few days ago, which you can find on our Patreon. The folder will look like this. Stop wasting your money, money. And now I'm gonna add in our simple, nice looking and favorite material. And there you see, you will have it. And it will be animated perfectly fine to your needs. And you can use it however you like. I liked to be like this. And this would even look nice. You could simply change the heart icon if you don't like it to this one or to another one. You could change up the text to this one and change up the color. For example, a bit more red color. You could also change the text color from the bottom one or even add in something way different for example a big heart and now i'm also going to add in a different text so you see the scroll ui works perfectly fine you see it, that it actually works now compile this save now we need two devices pretty easy we need a pop-up ui and we need one button these are the settings that you need to change up and now i connected it with the button so the ui will show when the button is interacted with and the ui will hide when we press the responding button one or any responding button since i only have one button i always keep it on this and here you need to add in your scroll ui that we just created so just go to into your content browser open it up i'm gonna copy this and add it in here here and you see it will add here and now we can test it out and see if it works so now we are finally in game let's see if it works 
And here's the scroll UI, you see the material works, also the glint effect, and all the text, you can scroll down, or we can just hold this and drag this down and up. Let's try to press the button. It also works. You see, and this is a very nice way to show people what your map is about. These are the two materials that you can find on our Patreon. And also, we want to give away some stuff, so just make sure to watch it. So thanks for 1000 subscribers. As a team, we wanted to give away this Christmas animation, which you can use for your maps, and also for our serious members or above, different kind of background images for the scroll UI. So just make sure to check out all the stuff. Thanks again for all the support. Make sure to join the Discord and comment down below. And please make sure to use code UNFABLE in the item shop if you like what we do and want to support us.